expect to see me here I didn't expect to be here just kind of how it worked out Decide to swing by. And your parents already knew me. Which was a bit of a shock, actually. I was gonna have to, I was expecting to have to, uh, Give the whole explanation. Oh, I'm a classmate. I'm like their friend. I'm worried about them. It's too more to check on them. But no, they already knew me. Do you talk about me a lot? <laughs> you do, don't you? Hey, that's okay. No judgment here. Well, maybe a little. Apparently, you hold me in very high regards. Which is flattering, to say the least. But, unexpected, darn. It really is. <laughs> yeah. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you liked me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you like me. Well, you don't exactly make it, um, hidden that you like me. It's very obvious. It's constantly painted over your face, like, uh, like a neon sign, really. You know what? I like you too, nerd. I, um... Mm. I think about you a lot. Especially when I found out you were sick, I really started thinking about you. Uh-huh, I did. Let's see, I, um... I have a few things I need to share with you, Nerd. And I need you to shut up and listen to them. Let's see. You're mine. I'm gonna put this in better a better way. When you first showed up, I immediately knew that I wanted you. I wanted you more than anything. So I made you my single target. Nobody else. Stop messing with everyone else. Focused on you. And then as time went on, we got more and more close. Which, to be honest, was unexpected, because, you know, I was bullying you. I expected you to hate my guts. But no, you started talking to me. And 
and then you were actively seeking me out, which was another weird part. Huh. Yeah. And then, here's the kicker. When I was gone, whether I'd be working or something like that. I'll come back and then people would tell, would tell me that you were asking about me. So far as you even went to my home. Okay, it's okay. I know that you went to my house. Um, am, I, am I mad about it? No. I'm actually quite glad. Because it makes me believe that you harbor the same feelings that I hold for you. Mm hmm. Anyway. I already talked to your family about this. It's, I asked them. Do I have permission to ask them out? And you know what they said? They said, please. They said, you always seem happy when you're talking about me. And whenever the subject changes away from me, you kind of lose that happiness a little bit. You're still happy, but you're not as happy as you were talking about me. Oh, embarrassed much? Are they spilling all your secrets? Mm-hmm. It's okay, then. Mm-hmm. You are adorable, even when you're sick. Yeah. Listen, I... I like you, okay? I kind of figured you did. Let's just say I had a... I could... I, I had a good guess, originally. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. Nerd, look at me. Look me in the eyes. I'm not lying to you. I do like you. I'd even go as far as saying as I'm madly in love with you. I've been up all night. Worrying about you ever since I found out you were sick yesterday. Don't worry, I've asked your family if I can use your kitchen, and uh, they said yes, so I'll be making you something. Mm hmm. And yeah, that's the same thing I always make me when I'm sick. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, nobody's there to take care of me when I'm sick. I do it myself. <laughs> okay. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm glad you'll take care of me when I'm sick, though. Okay. 
Get some rest, man. I'll be back later with your food, okay? Boy, do you want me to say have sweet dreams? Okay, well, have sweet dreams, nerd. Only if they're of me. If they're not, um, why aren't you dreaming about me, huh? Is there someone better? Hmm. Okay, I'm kidding, nerd. Get some rest, okay? If you don't, I'm gonna dump the food on you when I get back. I mean it, I'll do it. I can just tell your parents I tripped. <laughs> but we'll both know the real reason. <laughs>